Today, we have some exciting news to share with you. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the colors of Arendelle, one the most distant star ever detected by humans. Arendelle is a remarkable star that shines from the early universe when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It is so far away that its light has taken almost 13 billion years to reach us, meaning that we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only 900 million years old. How did Webb manage to capture this incredible image of Arendelle? And what can it tell us about the origin and evolution of stars and galaxies? In this episode, we will also compare Arendelle with another ancient star, known as the Methuselah star, which is one of the oldest stars known, and see how they differ in their properties and history. Stay tuned to find out more in this episode. What makes this star so special? Well, for starters, it belongs to a class of stars known as B-type stars, which are massive, hot, and bright. These stars are among the most luminous stars in the universe, and they have a short lifespan of only a few million years compared to our sun's 10 billion years. This star has a surface temperature of more than 20,000 degrees Celsius, which is twice as hot as our sun. It also emits about a million times more light than our sun, making it one of the brightest stars in the universe. However, because it is so far away, it appears very faint and small in the sky. In fact, it is impossible to see it with the naked eye or even with the most advanced telescopes we have. So to measure its properties, Webb used its near-infrared camera, NERCAM instrument, which can detect very faint infrared light that is invisible to human eyes. It has a very high resolution and sensitivity, which allows it to capture detailed images of distant objects like this star. By analyzing the colors of its light, Webb was able to determine its temperature, brightness, and chemical composition. The colors of this star's light show that it has a blue-white color, which indicates that it is very hot and young. It also shows that it contains hydrogen and helium, the most abundant elements in the universe, but no metals, which are heavier elements that are produced by nuclear fusion inside stars, or by supernova explosions. This means that this star is a very primitive star that formed from the pristine gas that existed in the early universe, before any metals were created. This star is a rare example of a metal-poor star, which are also called Population 3 stars. These stars are thought to be the first generation of stars that ever formed in the universe, and they may have played a crucial role in transforming the dark and cold cosmos into a bright and warm place full of galaxies and planets. Another interesting feature of this star is its mass. It contains the equivalent of tens or even hundreds of solar masses. Such massive stars are rare in the present-day universe, but they may have been more common in the early universe when the gas was denser and less polluted by metals. Massive stars have powerful radiation and winds that can shape their environment and trigger star formation in nearby regions. They also end their lives in spectacular supernova explosions that enrich the surrounding gas with metals and create black holes or neutron stars. This star may have already exploded as a supernova or even a hypernova, leaving behind a compact remnant that we cannot see yet. Another fact that is this star may not be alone in its distant galaxy. Based on its colors, Webb's NERCAM instrument suggests that it has a cooler and redder companion star, meaning that this could be another B-type star or a different type of star that orbits around this star. Binary stars are very common in the universe, and they can affect each other's evolution and fate. For example, if one star transfers mass to another star, it can change their brightness, temperature, and lifespan. However, to confirm if this star has a companion star and determine its properties, Webb will need to observe it for longer time and with different filters. But how did Webb find Arendelle in the first place? The answer lies in a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, which is the key to observing Arendelle and other distant galaxies. Gravitational lensing occurs when a massive object, such as a galaxy cluster, bends and magnifies the light from a background object that lies behind it. This happens because gravity warps the space around the massive object, creating a natural telescope that amplifies the light from the background object. This effect was predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, and it has been observed many times by astronomers using different telescopes. In this case, 
Webb used a galaxy cluster called WHL 013708 as a gravitational lens to observe Arendelle and other galaxies that are behind it. The galaxy cluster is located about 3 billion light years away from us, and it contains hundreds of galaxies that are bound together by their gravity. The image from Webb's NIRCAM shows the galaxy cluster as a collection of yellow-white blobs in the center. Around the cluster, there are many distorted images of background galaxies that appear as blue arcs and streaks. These are called lensed arcs, and they are caused by the gravitational lensing effect. One of these lensed arcs is called Sunrise Arc, and it is a galaxy that is also very distant and ancient. It is located about 12 billion light years away from us, meaning that we are seeing it as it was when the universe was only 1.5 billion years old. Within Sunrise Arc, there is a bright spot that stands out from the rest. This is Arendelle, the most distant star ever detected. Without the gravitational lensing effect of the galaxy cluster, Arendelle would be too faint and small to be seen by Webb or any other telescope. But thanks to this cosmic magnifying glass, Webb was able to capture this amazing image of Arendelle and reveal its colors and properties. One of the most intriguing questions about Arendelle is how it compares to another ancient star, known as the Methuselah star, HD 140283. The Methuselah star is a yellow subgiant located in the constellation Libra, about 190 light years away from Earth. It is one of the oldest stars known, with an estimated age of 14.46 T's, 0.8 billion years. This age range would make it older than the universe itself which is calculated to be about 13.8 billion years old. However, this apparent paradox can be resolved by considering the uncertainties in both measurements, which overlap within the margin of error. The Methuselah star is also a metal-poor star, which means that it formed from the pristine gas that existed in the early universe, before any metals were created by nuclear fusion or supernova explosions. However, it is not as metal-poor as Arendelle, which has only one two hundred fiftieth as much of the heavy element content of our Sun, while the Methuselah star has about one fiftieth. This suggests that Arendelle is even more primitive and ancient than the Methuselah star, and may belong to a different generation of stars. The discovery of Arendelle is a remarkable achievement for Webb and for astronomy. It opens a new window into the early universe and star formation. It is one of the first stars that ever existed, and it may have played an important role in shaping the history and evolution of galaxies. By studying Arendelle, we can learn more about how stars form from gas and dust in the primordial cosmos, how they live and die, and how they influence their surroundings with their radiation and winds. Some of the questions that Arendelle raises are, how did it form so early and so fast? How long did it live before exploding as a supernova? What did it look like when it was alive? Did it have any planets or companions around it? Webb will continue to explore these questions and more as it observes Arendelle and other distant objects with its powerful instruments. Webb will reveal more secrets of the universe and its history and help us understand our cosmic origins and destiny. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed learning about Arendelle, the most distant star ever detected by Webb. If you liked this video, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about space exploration and discovery. And don't forget to check our website at nasaspacenews.com. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and wonder what else is out there waiting for us to discover.